Yo, what's good? It's Francis Got Heat. I'm here chilling at Beat Cave. Um, I've heard about it before. Like I know East Bound. He has seen he he did it. It looked really dope from what I saw. I'm like, yo, I'd do it too. Like, I guess the perfect mix is if you play it for the artist and they make a hit out of it. That's the perfect mix. I've been making beats for like 10 years, but I wouldn't really call that producing. Like, I've been making beats, but when you get to production, that's like the putting the song together. You don't have to go and sing in the booths and whatever, but like you have the vision in your head, like this is how I want the song to sound. This is how I'm gonna put it together. You don't even have to sit there and mix it. You can just tell people to do it, but as long as you have the vision. Not at all. Not at all. As long as you can operate in it, then it's good. A lot of people like to talk shit about FL or whatever. I'm like, it don't matter. Like, most of the Billboard hits are FL, bro. Like, I mean, usually I, I start fresh with everybody, but like, there's certain artists that you've worked with before, so you know, oh, they like things like this, or you have a certain flow with an artist. But generally, to say I'm linking, I don't know, like Kendrick for the first time, like. I might have like a blank slate. I might have some ideas in the back of my head like, yo, this could work. I might have a folder of backup beats in case like he don't like nothing I make on the spot. But yeah, generally I try to go in with the open, open mind. I try not to like, a lot of producers like to go in the room like, yo, they listen to Good Kid or whatever. Good Kid around like, yo, I'm gonna make some shit for Kendrick like that. I'm like, no, nah, he already did that. You gotta make something new. Are you doing interviews? Yeah. Oh my God. What's up, man? What's up? What's up? He got presented uh, to me through like NST and stuff like that with Andrews. Like, obviously, I'm like, yo, I'll do it. Like, because like, I've never heard of anyone ever doing that. I'm like, it could be crazy. It sounded crazy to me when they told me, I'm like, I'll try it. It's for Snoop Dogg. Yo, I like Snoop Dogg. You know? We went in the studio. This guy had like a, a plan, I think. It was like, it was called Candy Apple. And he was putting banana clips on it, gave the most random signals. Like I, I was listening back to it, like yo, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this shit. It's so random. But I ended up finding like a cool little loop that worked. Yeah.